fish and the gills never forget to biopsy the gills because there are parasites that just get the gills and are not present on the body. Costia loves doing that. Biopsy the fish, look at their mucus under the microscope and see if there's parasites there to determine if you even need to treat. Um, and then do, or rather than do that, if you want to, you could just empirically treat, uh, render a shotgun treatment using uh, two medications if you wanted. Actually, there'd be three different medications that would show up in an effective shotgun therapy. One in larger facilities where the water is cool would be formalin malachite plus an insect growth regulator. Uh, another shotgun for systems under 3,000 gallons, unless you're rich. Um, smaller facilities could be treated with Mardell clout and an insect growth regulator and probably get 97% confidence interval that you're clearing all the parasites that could be playing in that situation. Um, and so you could clean up the system, replace a lot of the water, and employ a shotgun treatment against parasites. And you might say, wait, you haven't even done anything to the fish. You haven't done anything to the bacterial infection. But you know, once water quality is improved, the systems are um, clean and sanitary, and the fish are not being chewed on by parasites anymore, a lot of bacterial infections will just clear up without bombarding them with medications for bacterial infection. But let's just say you want to do something about the ulcers on the fish. Um, remember when I told you that you might pull the fish out for a system cleaning? That might not be a bad idea, but while you have them out, here's a couple ideas of what you might do with those fish. Fish with any sort of substantial sore, like a rotting nose or a sores underneath the fish where the pectorals have rubbed on things, uh, body sores. Um, it's not a bad idea when you get those fish out to take a semi-abrasive gauze, um, terry cloth, washcloth, and uh, just something not slick. There's a gauze that sometimes people use that just immediately gets slime on it and it doesn't lift any cells. And I'm not talking about scouring a wound, but taking a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, dipping a terry cloth, washcloth in it, and then just gently rubbing a wound to get the dead scales and gross material off the edges of that wound one time. You can also use a tincture of iodine. You can use betadine solution, not betadine soap. I mean, I guess you could use the soap, but then you'd have to rinse that off. Uh, betadine solution um, is good. Um, some people use other sorts of stains. If you want to, and this, I, you know, it's not a bad thing to do, would be to take some actual granular potassium permanganate, and you could just put a dab of uh, straight up potassium permanganate or a concentrated solution on the ulcer. That has a tendency to kill germs and even parasites that might be sequestered in such a wound. Just be careful around the gills with whatever you do as far as betadine, uh, tincture of iodine, hydrogen peroxide, potassium permanganate topicals. Be very careful not to get that running under the gill cover. Uh, fish like their gills. So do we. Um, topical treatment of the wound. Fish that have significant injury or ulcer. Fish that may not be eating. Um, those benefit a lot of times by injections of antibiotic. And there are uh, videos in my, my uh, YouTube channel of injections being given. And uh, there's three different routes for antibiotic injection. There's IV in the base of the tail. There is IM under the base of the tail in the muscle or in the back, like up on the back of the fish, although sometimes you can mark your fish and leave a scar or missing scale or whatever, which in some fish, show fish, it can matter if you if you uh, damage their appearance. Um, or intraperitoneal injection, which happens to be kind of a favorite of mine because it's easier than IV and it is faster and hurts less than an IM injection. So an IP injection right in the knuckle of the pectoral fin 
uh, excuse me, I was about to tell you not to inject in the pectoral fin, but the knuckle of the ventral fin, and I'll definitely put up an image of where that shot goes. Um, so if you wanted to, when you had the fish out, if they have sores of any consequence, you could dress those with iodine or potassium permanganate or peroxide, and at the same time, give the fish an injection in the peritoneal space.